trust that hurts you the most. You gotta be very careful about who you let watch your children. You can never be so trusting. But we pray for that family.
knew that's where we were going to be. Yeah. When you have it, say amen. I want to look at, um, I want to start reading at verse 13. Yeah, let me, let me read it to you. Acts chapter 9. I want to start at verse 13. This is what it says. Then Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard by men of this man how much evil he had done to thy saints at Jerusalem. And here he had authority from the chief priest to bind all that call on thy name. But the Lord said unto him, Go ye thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. I'm interested in verse 13 today, y'all. Right. When it says, Then Ananias answered, Lord, I've heard by many about this man. I've heard from a bunch of folk uh -huh. about this man. Yeah. Today's subject, run, reputation run. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Run. run. Reputation run. Thank you, readers. Now, I hope you don't allow what you hear today to squash your way means. Because what you hear today will probably be to you actual and factual. But if the weight of the message is saw fall on your feet, just say ouch and keep going. Amen. We've heard about many about this man. How much evil he has done. Question. You ever done dirt? Yes, sir. You ever done dirt? Yes, sir. You don't done something that will go down in dirt. Yeah. yeah. You know, last week we were introduced to a man named Ananias. We found out that he was a disciple of Jesus the Christ. He loved Christ. He wanted to do what he was called to do. Amen. That made him a pretty good disciple. Yes, sir. But he was given a mission. If we recall last week, he was given a mission through a vision from God himself. He was told on last week, if you recall, to go down on a street called Straight. That's right. There at the house of a man named Judas you would find a blind man by the name of Saul. And he's going to be praying. And not only is he praying, not only is he at Judas' house, but he's expecting you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I like Ananias because he's obedient. Right. When I was 
teaching in the school system. Obedient children were a joy to teach. All right? You just had a fondness for teaching children. And, and you know what would get you to get a, a kid in favor with the teacher? Say it, say it. When they were back talk. Yes. When they were given direction, what came out of their mouth was, yes, sir. No, sir. Wow. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. But when you have nice when you find this man that I'm sending you to to lay hands on, watch this. He's not going to be raising hell when you find him. <clears throat> He's not going to be cursing and drinking. But you will not find him doing what he normally does. Play for I know he's a hellion. Yes, he is. You don't have to say man, but some people that live around you know you're a hellion. <laughs> but you won't find him doing worldly things. Even though he's worldly, you won't find him doing worldly things. He cannot see he'll be down on his knees praying. You're right. There are times when you might need to flip the script. Mm. You got a reputation in your neighborhood. But what are they saying about you in the break room at the job? <laughs> what are they saying about you? I'm talking about the people across the street that, 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 that know you. What are they saying about you when you leave their presence? All right. Upon hearing what he has been called to do, doubt and concern arises in his spirit. Notice he has yet to meet Saul. That's right. But watch this. People would meet your reputation before they meet you. All right. All right. Ananias has heard about Saul before he even meets him. Right. Whether good or bad, happy or sad, right. we all have a reputation. Amen. Let's be clear, though. A reputation is not a death sentence. No. But what the reputation does do, it sends a message to me as how I need to handle you before I meet you. All right, merciful. Yeah, I, that's what the reputation does. It, 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 it lets me know if I can shoot jive with you. Uh -huh. Oh, I have to be very careful about the words I use. Amen. That's right. In verse 13, That's right. Ananias speaks to the Lord a second time. The first time he said, Behold, I am here, Lord. Mm -hmm. That was his response. And when he said that, it sent a message to me that Ananias was willing and ready to do what the Lord would have him to do. In verse 13, even though he knows that this is God speaking to him, he has a concern. Right. What is this a concern, Pastor? It's Saul's reputation. Amen. When I was growing up, that was a family in Studentwood. Nobody messed with. Over there off of Airline. 
They were known as the cunning hands. Some of y'all probably related to them. You didn't mess with the cunning hands. Because when you fought one of them, they just kept coming. They don't die, they multiply. It was their reputation, it was Saul's reputation that created a concern to Ananias. Amen. There have been times when a reputation has sold me and convinced me about your nature before I physically lay eyes on you. Mm. Everybody in here, if you went to anybody's public school, uh -huh. you lived in anybody's neighborhood, there was always a bully in the neighborhood. Right. Everybody in here had, had to deal with their demons. Mm -hmm. And you were in holy fear about walking down certain streets in your neighborhood. One characteristic of a reputation is this. I hear it before I see it. And it is what I've heard Sometimes the reputation will cause me to sentence judgment before I even meet you. There are some people that don't know nothing about you. But they don't like you because of something that somebody has told them. You don't even know that person. But because Bertha said something about them. It is the reputation that I, I hear it before I see it. By nature, reputations don't correct themselves. It's mostly up to the subject matter that upon hearing about his or her total self. It's up to you. It's up to you to initiate what I call damage control. That's right. Y'all not y'all not gonna say man to this. It's okay. But the hoe in 12th grade will still be the hoe at the 20th year reunion. She just holds us. <laughs> and you may not know that person's name, right. but you you heard about their reputation. The crazy knucklehead in the tenth grade will probably be the same knucklehead at the 20 year reunion. It's up to us to initiate damage control. You may never be able to change your reputation, but you sure can try to work on it and fix it. If it's broke, try and fix it. <laughs> Look at what Ananias says in verse 13. He said, Lord, I've heard. You ever met somebody? And you'll tell them what your name is. And they'll say, I heard about you. <laughs> but let's just be clear. There are some people that you just don't mess with. All of us in here got some crazy cousins. Yes. You got some crazy 
crazy uncle. That'll drink you under the table. Shadows in the sun. <clears throat> they walk with you. And that shadow sometimes has been known to walk away from you and walk in front of you. <clears throat> in the school system, when I worked in the school system, one of the principals left. She was a sweet lady, one of the nicest ladies. You know, anybody here had a boss that you really liked? Yeah. Because they treated you like a human being? Yes. But she left. She retired. Hold on. But we heard about the new principal coming. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could retire, you got about that. <laughs> Because before we even saw her, we had heard about her. Right. Sometimes it's your reputation. Mm -hmm. Watch this. This is what Anna says. To, to, now this, this is what I'm saying to the, saying this to God. I see some issues, Elsa. Yes, I see some Y'all see some issues? I see some issues. Yeah. The first issue is, he says, I've heard. Mm -hmm. The second issue is yeah. what I've heard. Mm -hmm. See, y'all watch this. <laughs> he says, I've heard about this man from a whole bunch of folks. That's right. You know what my answer used to say? Everybody ain't lying on me. Mm. <laughs> yep, your mom ever said that? Everybody not lying on you. In other words, what he has heard, it has come from more than just one soul. It's bad enough that you have to try to do damage control with your reputation, but again, remember what mama said, everybody ain't lying.
called the luggage of your life. Before we open your luggage, is there anything in here that you don't want out? That's right. Is there anything, before we open your baggage, uh -huh. is there anything in here that you don't want to let out? That's right. Is there anything in this baggage that might hurt somebody else that's dependent upon you to never let it out? Mm. All right, say it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Sometimes luggage comes with deep regret. Pause, rewind, press play. Everybody in here has done some things in their past they wish they could just push the delete button on. There are some things, some places, some circumstances, some situations that we just hope don't nobody ever find out about. It'll kill you if your child really found out how you was when he was that age. Mm. 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 Your uncle just might not be your uncle. <laughs> I need to tell you this. That your a suspect reputation does not define my present or my future potential. All right. Everybody in here at some point have baggage and a reputation. You hooked up with somebody that had a reputation. Mm. That turned out to be the love of your life. Right. But mama didn't like him because mama had heard about him. Mm. And all you could just see is how blind he is. Mm. He may have been a lady's man. Or she may have been one of those females that the guys compare notes on at the local barbershop. She could have been that girl that liked them girls. Uh -huh. All reputations are not deal breakers. There's some sisters sitting in this church right now. At this very moment, you got a thing for thugs. <laughs> <laughs> says, Lord, I've heard it. Most of us, when we look in the mirror, we're guilty of believing everything we hear. But many of us are guilty of remembering stuff that we need to forget and forgetting stuff we need to remember. Yes, sir. Most of us in here, we're guilty of believing everything we hear. Do you know that a lot of people cross time before socks never get it? <laughs> and listen to this It don't have to be accurate information If it's juicy enough At this present time Ananias Has heard nothing good About this man Saul They heard nothing good You have been guilty Talking to you. You have been guilty of dropping everything that you were doing because somebody came with you. Girl, guess what? Mm. You stuck.
stop and drop everything because you have a knack and a yearning to hear juicy stuff. He says this. I have heard from a bunch of folk about this. Watch this. About how evil this man is. And some of the things that he has done to the saints that will worship you. Not only that, but the evil he does has been sanctioned from the chief priest. Lord, do you not know this man you're sending me to? He comes with authority to arrest the saints. Finally, God has a great way of assessing reputation. Uh -huh. We all have reputation. Yes, sir. Doesn't really hold, matter a whole lot to God. You know, God is like a used car salesman. He'll work with you. Yeah, that's what he does. He, he, he'll, he'll work with us. You ever needed the Lord to not work with you, but work on you? No matter what they said about your past, God saw something in you. That's right. No matter what the neighbors are saying about you, God sees something in you. Anybody been told that you weren't going to ever amount to nothing? Uh -huh. You were the first one probably to get a degree in your, in your family. Mm. But the debt was stacked against you that you weren't going to succeed. That's right. That's right. Your family is known in the neighborhood. But that doesn't mean it has to be you. Right. This man has done evil to people that love you. But God can work with reputation. Thank God. God can change folk. Amen. Amen. Don't be afraid to rub shoulders with people that have bad reputations. Why? Because if it wasn't for the grace of God. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. They might be saying the same thing about us. Yeah. 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 So what do I do? Saul changed. And would go on to become arguably one of the greatest men in the Bible. Make it right, preacher. Amen. Just because whatever you did out there down Bruce and Crane, mm. that does not define who you are. Right. Yes. And believe it or not, and I'm done, there are some people that you have to rub shoulders with that will not let you forget how big of a mess up you used to be. Amen. But I thank God. Thank the Lord. Yes, Lord. Because my my, my my new phrase for 2024, two things. No judgment, no condemnation. Yeah. I cannot judge you unless I want to be judged myself. So what do I do? I pray for your luggage. I pray for what's in that luggage. But let me just say this to you. Thank God because your past will not cancel your future. Question. Anybody in here? Just be honest. You're not really proud of some stuff you've done in the past. Hmm. Don't want, I don't want to know what it is. I just want you to say it. Yeah, you're not really proud of some stuff. Make a mistake. But God, he 
Kipagenza. In you. Because the old people used to say when you point a finger, there's four more coming back at you. Right. So, thank God. Because God has delivered us through some negative situations. Yes. God, thank you. Jesus. Lord, I heard about this man. Right. Somebody wants to join the church, came off the street. But don't look at him because you used to be out there too. Oh, man. But like I said two summers ago, you used to be in them streets, now you in these seats. Oh, man. Yeah. And I find no fault in anybody. Come on, man. Because how can you say that you love God whom you never seen? Come on, man. And see me every Sunday and hate my good. Come on, give God a hand clap. Yeah. Yeah. 